All right, so we're back. Um, this video hopefully will be about 15 minutes. Um, this is solely the video for creating the uh, waistband tie uh, for the mood poppy dress. So this is it. Uh, on the sewing machine camera, you see uh, that there are size notches. So these aren't in the pattern. Only the notches are actually in the pattern the uh, markings of the notches, but the actual size, I wrote that in. Um, so as you can see, zero, four, eight, 12, 16, and then 20. And then of course there's 24 and 28 over here at the end. So you're gonna find your size somewhere in these notches, whatever size you've been cutting, um, that will be the notch that you're gonna create. Uh, so zero, you might be size zero, that's your notch. You're gonna clip your little notch with your scissors. And that is part of the, um, one of the next steps that uh, is gonna be done. So I'm doing size 16. I already created my notches. I also, don't forget that this pattern also has some more notches. There's these two notches as well. And I'm assuming that these are for all sizes. Uh, so those are some uh, two other notches that are part of the um, waistband tie pattern. Okay, so I got the pattern done. Put that out of the way. All right, so now we have our fabric. I kind of did the same treatment where I used my fabric marker to just do a nice little print of some flowers. And that way you can tell, I can tell which side is the right side. This is the right side or also correct side. They just call it right side in pattern making the right side, and then there's the wrong side, which is the inside. So inside is wrong, outside is right. The wrong and the right, the wrong and the right. All right, now I'm gonna join my two pieces because it was cut too, so we have two pieces. I'm going to just join them at the center back. And sure, I'll put some pins in there to make sure it stays together. There's one, just a couple. And here's the other. And that's with two pins. This is and uh, this is just a regular seam, which is the half inch seam allowance. So I'm finding my seam allowance for eighth, for eighth mark. Make sure to take out the pins before they hit the needle.
And back switching is always a good practice. Just keep doing that. Hold your threads together. You don't want to sew and then have it all fall apart on you. All right. I'm just going to clip off the little threads. And so now you have one big, long, giant piece. Okay, try. And then you're going to fold the right sides together. Remember, right side, right, right sides. You're going to fold them together. Excuse me. Woo, easy. Okay, so I'm uh, matching the center. I'm gonna do a little finger pressing right here. I got my little tool out. It's a little <clears throat> presser tool. I'm gonna just, just kind of press it instead. All right, nice and flat. So I'm putting these two sides together and pin that. I like to pin both sides so that it doesn't get caught under the machine. And let's see, I found those two notches. So we got those two notches matching up. I'm going to pin right there. And then we go to my first corner, pin that there. You're going to create a little pivot right there at that intersection. And then also at the top. Okay. Yeah. So I've got one at the top point, one at this point right here, uh, where these two notches are. I have that notch, that was from the size, the size notch. And then this was the center or the ending, and that's going to become the center back. Now do it to the other side. Okay, there's that size notch. Then there's the double notches, and we're going to pin right there. And there's that corner where we're going to pivot. Pivot! Jamie pivot. Sometimes I need to do this. And that's just the way it is. Okay. And one more pin right there. Close to this. Okay. And that's it. All right. So. <clears throat> Thank you.
We are going to sew twice on this. So once on the left side and then once on the right side. So we have our center, okay? That's our center back. And then we have that size notch. There's that one single size notch. So we're gonna start our sewing at the size notch. And the seam allowance is half inch. So half inch in. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna go all the way, all the way to where we're gonna pivot and then down to the corner. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So let's get to our machines. Let's do it. So this is that center back. We're not going to sew that. We're not sewing the center back. We're going to find that notch, that size notch that we had. Okay, there's no size notch. And we find our half inch seam allowance mark. Four eighths, half inch. <clears throat> and Make sure you do not hit those pins. Just in a bowling alley. Don't hit my pins. Now you know you're coming close to where you're going to do that divot. I mean, divot, huh? <laughs> pivot. So, this is where the pivot's going to be. You might want to use a pencil to do the little mark that you're going to do like a little dot at this point where you're going to do your pivot because uh, you. My, it just might make it easier for you. So I could do that on the other side when we're done with this side. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I pivot, I pivoted, I pivoted. I was going straight and then I lift my foot. Okay, lift my foot, lift my foot, pivot. So that you can still see the four eighths the four eighths or half inch mark, if you're still doing that half inch seam allowance, then lower the foot and go for it. Don't hit those pins. So once I'm done, here we are at the corner. Here we did our pivot all the way through to where we have that size mark, that notch. Close. I'll show you how to do the little dot in the area where we're going to do the pivot on the other side.
get your ruler or your measuring tape. Get a pencil. Sorry. Sorry, must move the camera. Then you see your one inch mark and you see your half inch. Right, measurement right there, half inch. So, one side and also on the other side. And then where those two lines intersect, on the, where those two lines intersect, that is your pivot point right there. Well, just like that. Hello. Hello. I am still on camera, but I'm almost finished with this one. Maybe oh. like two or three minutes at most. Okay. Oh, my love. Oh. Yay. Okay, so let's finish this up because it's almost dinner time. Oh, it is dinner time. Yeah. Okay. Let's finish this up. Okay. Let's go on to the side. We have this is the center. Center back. We're not sewing this at all. We're gonna find that. Ah, uh, there it is, that size notch that we made. Yeah, the size notch, there's a size notch. Okay, so we're gonna start there. And it's a half inch allowance. And we start. Touch those pins. Oh. You're coming up to your pivot point. I slowed down right before I got to the pivot point, and then I just used my hand to crank the wheel. Okay, and then I raise my foot so that I can loosen up the fabric. So I can pivot it. So up with the foot, and pivot, and then down with the foot. So we're all done with this part. <laughs> it sounds like somebody needs my attention now. Okay, so we took out the all of the pins, we took out the pins from the center back as well. Okay. At those size notches, he wants to get down. Huh? He wants to get down. Yes, he wants to. I saw you. All right. <laughs> 
So you're gonna see that this is your center, this is your center back seam, right? And you have this seam, I mean stitch, and then you have this stitch. So you're gonna use your picky scissors and you're going to go as close as you can without actually hitting the thread. Okay. As close as you can to the stitch without actually hitting it. Okay. Just like that. And then grease that. Okay. And do that on the other side as well. Okay, so uh, now with your corners, you don't want to have a bunch of stuff right there. You're going to cut it. Um, trim just a little bit that way. Once again, cut across, and then down. That way, you don't have too much bulky fabric right there in that corner. Now, to the areas where you pivoted. Okay. So the areas where you put those pieces. And also right there, you want to clip those corners. You want to clip that, that corner because you don't want too much fabric to bunch up in that area. And Oh. Mm. All right, how do you feel about the park? Everything. So looks like we are all done here. We did this. Now we're gonna just go ahead and turn it inside out. We're gonna go to that big old opening that you have. So you yeah. so didn't sew it. We got a big old opening. Okay. Put your hand in there. <laughs> and bring it on through. Then also with the other side, just so your hand in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then bring it on through. <laughs> now, I do not want to use my pencil and I do not want to use my scissors because they have very sharp points. So, I'm going to use this one, this tool, to punch out the tip of the tie. Okay, put your hand in there. Put your hand in there and slowly, gently, gently, because you don't want to poke through the fabric. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you go back up the little thing? Okay, yeah. cool. There we go. So that's good enough for me. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Cool. There's that one. And then you find where we did that pivot. But also, you can nice little place to get a nice edge. All right, so we're gonna do the other side now. Do the other side now. <clears throat> mm 
stick my hand through, my hand in, and all the way through. And get all up in there. All up in there. All up in there. So I'm gonna get all up in this area. I think that looks good enough. Yeah, that's good enough for me. That's fine. And down to where we did the pivot. Nice and clean, crisp corner. All right. And that is pretty much it. The <clears throat> nice large clip that you made now will pop out. Oh, this one that. Because you didn't sew this inside, it's going to be outside. And this is the part that is going to be locked in to your waistline. This will be locked into your waistline. That way your tie never comes off of your dress. Okay. All right. So that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sure, leave some comments, uh, likes, dislikes. That's fine. Yeah, that's all good. I would love to know whether uh, this video was good, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. And <laughs> if you hear my kid in the background, that's also fine. <laughs> Whatever you got to say, that's fine. Just let me know. I always uh, adore feedback some way or another. If you want to join my Instagram, just join Le Meow Club um, on Instagram, Le Meow Club. And also, uh, it's the same for YouTube. I think actually in my YouTube channel, it might just be Rosa Limon. Um, so join that, subscribe. Um, I'll just be doing more videos like that. And um, if you would like a Zoom lesson, um, go ahead and direct message me or send me an email and I will get back to you about uh, having a Zoom lesson. Zoom sewing lessons seem to be just fine and dandy if you like it this way. Um, what I do is have you on camera and we go through our lesson and then I record the video uh, and then I create a private link. That way you can watch your video, your lesson over and over and hopefully that helps you on your sewing journey. So thank you very much for watching. Um, have a great night. Bye.